we are given two parallel plates in which there is a potential difference of delta phi. Now, if you fill some charge between the plates, we need to find what should be the charge density such that electric field at one of the plates becomes zero. So, if you fill some charge here and let's say we fill some positive charge. So, the electric field due to this positive charge inside will be outwards on both sides. And because the, the charge which we are filling is uniform, the field is going to be same on both sides. And it, he's saying that at one side it becomes zero. So, if this is the electric field due to the potential difference of plates, and this is the electric field due to the charge field inside, they should cancel each other at this point. So, their magnitudes must be same. This is E due to the potential difference between plates, then this should also be E because of the charge inside. So, of course, on the other side, they will get add up and it will become 2E. So, what should be the magnitude of that row? So, we are going to consider a Gaussian surface end to end, a small cylinder of cross sectional area A. So, let me just read this once. Field between the plates without considering filled up charge is delta phi by D. Correct? Because the potential difference is delta phi. Cap between them is D. So, electric wheel is delta phi by D. Now, I feel that one end is zero, then other end will be 2E as E due to distributed charge will be same on both ends. Using Gauss law on the cylindrical surface for the inside charge, we'll say that electric field is coming out on both the surfaces. So, flux will be 2E times A is equal to Q in, in by epsilon and Q in will be rho into volume and volume is A into D. So, A will get cancelled and rho which we need is 2 epsilon E by D or E we can write as delta phi by D to get our answer. Now, what will be the field on the other plate? It will be twice of E. So, E you can find from here. So, E here will be D rho by 2 epsilon. So, D rho by 2 epsilon into 2 which will give answer as rho D by epsilon. Simple question.